let's start this case off with some good vibes and let me tell you this case was not an easy case as far as decision making is concerned sometimes god tests you in unprecedented ways this case marks one of my first cases that i suffered a, a tragic pump failure in my feco so this was a vip patient my first case of the day and i had started this case off with a very good mood and uh, yes the patient was a vip lady with i was operating her right eye with the premium monofocal eye oil um right at the bat i have made two uh, really nice side ports i have stained the capsule i have told my ot assistant to assist me in another normal routine case uh, had i known what i am going to face i would have i would have um, kept a lot of my courage and stuff ready but uh, yes um things can catch you off guard sometimes and you should be ready for any consequence that you are going to face because you are a surgeon yes um so uh, i filled the entire chamber with a lot of visco in the hope i am going to make a good decent sized rexis the side ports are eradicated they are 180 degrees apart uh, the capsule has stained beautifully with trypan blue dye i've made a good cystitum yes and obtuse angled cystitum i am going to introduce it in the entire chamber stabilize my globe with the left hand and yes i've started the rexis just pulling that flap off uh noticing the rexis edge keeping my eye on the rexis edge the nucleus is around grade 3 grade 4 density i won't say it's too hard but neither it's too soft i have made a decently big size rexis 5 to 5.5 mm in this case i think it's 5.5 i have made a triplanar incision as you can see the first plane the second plane and the third plane parallel to the iris yes i have entered the ac the patient looks very cooperative and calm and yes so we are going to have a good hydro dissection just like that and yes this case is an unedited video i have not edited it so you are going to see some patches of video that i have sped up for um to keep you engaged throughout the video and yes i'll I'll be starting the chop and yes I thought it's a beautiful normal case I'm going to give this lady 6 by 6 the next day but things did not happen according to my predictions so introducing the feco I am running an Oatly Swiss Tech that is around 8 or 9 years old this machine has not failed me once and the pump works beautifully till now i am uh, my ot assistant has handed me over this blunt dialer to which i told him to hand me over a good chopper for those good jobs yes this sinski hook looks fine and just for the safety of the patient i am in the habit of taking a sinski hook which does the job pretty well for me uh just for some background info i have a decent decent hand at the conventional cataract surgery techniques i won't say i'm proficient at them but yes they act as a safety net in my professional armamentarium impaling the nucleus in the belly and yes i have i am a big fan of direct vertical chopping and just like that we have two hemi nuclei i'll dial the nucleus up and then make one chop again to make those two quadrants and yes it's a combination of a horizontal and a vertical chop as i use both these training forces to just do that feco practice the horizontal and the vertical element impaling the nucleus superficially and yes this is the horizontal part and the vertical part so yes we have four quadrants right now i'll bring one quadrant in the entire chamber and just eat it up for three fourths of the nucleus is remaining in the bag right now and yes that's it at this point in time i noticed two things my inadequate tip exposure and 
द फेको इज नॉट वर्किंग अकॉर्डिंग टू माई डिमांड एंड माई नीड एट दिस पॉइंट इन टाइम आई एम कीपिंग माई फेको पेडल पोजिशन थ्री बट द फेको हैज स्टॉप्ड पुलिंग द वे इट यूज टू द वेट द वे इट बिहेव आई फील्ड समथिंग स्ट्रेंज वेन आई लुकड एट दी पेरिस्टाल्टिक पम्प दी ओटली स्विस्टेक मशीन दैट आई हैव हैज़ अ पेरिस्टाल्टिक पम्प आई नोटिस समथिंग स्ट्रेंज द व्हील वॉज having this jerky movement due to which i was not able to grab this quadrant and just pull it off in my feco um so yes i'll try it again i held my nerves and let's try it again i introduced the feco tip in the end chamber i grab hold of one piece yes it is pulling it but yes i am able to make a chop once again and as you can see it's buzzing it's the tip is vibrating the irrigation is flowing but yes this is a typical case of a pump failure you can see the flow is good the the feco is working fine i could hear the feedback or the auditory feedback of the feco but it is not pulling the pieces we have a typical a classic case of a feco pump failure now being beginner surgeons being on the initial steps of your surgical career what would you have done my question is if you are stuck up in a case like this what would you have done you don't have a spare feco in your ot you have to complete this case you have to give this patient a beautiful result the patient is a vip lady and yes the onus lies on your shoulders your brave shoulders to so to show some courage and give this patient a beautiful result i have sped this video up as i i was in a fix what to do at this point in time i have asked my ot assistant to the just remove the tubing reapply the tubing and prime tune the feco once again just in case if there are some tec technical glitches in the software and the hardware of the feco i assured the patient at this point in time and so is there something wrong visibly with the feco machine we inspected the pedal we inspected the bottle height we inspected all the parameters and yes i asked my ot assistant yes give me the feco once again and we'll try to start the case once again at this point in time note notice three fourths of the nucleus is still left in the bag and yes i am just bringing this piece mechanically towards my feco but no it is not as you see these turbulent nuclear misty vibrations around the feco tip um i'm i'm just flabbergasted at this point in time about what to do right now at these points it's very calm to it's 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 very important to stay calm as the patient is conscious oriented to time place in person and the patient can hear everything that you are doing and you are saying to your ot it's very important you catch hold of your nerves stop those tremors just just sedate your racing heart if you can and calm yourself down reassure yourself and give some thought about what options do you have so yes the message was clear god is testing me and yes i'll give this patient a beautiful result you have to reassure you have to confirm yourself that yes the case is doable you can achieve beautiful results regardless of all the hurdles and the barricades and one last attempt at grabbing those pieces and completing this case when you have a circumstance like that you try every bit for a mechanical pump failure to work in your favor but it won't work the wheel won't go the peristaltic pump won't work and yes 
something stuck in my mind i am going to take those phaco probe out of the eye and at this point i've asked my ot assistant to just fill in lignocaine and bupivacaine in a syringe and i will give some supplemental block to this patient medially and we'll see a short pause a 2 minutes short pause and we are going to convert this case to a small incision cataract surgery for all your um information yes we can convert this case in an sics i have created a main port but don't worry it won't come in my way while we are converting this case to an sics i'm not in the habit of using a bridles or cautery or anything fancy i'll just use a fast sics strategy to just convert this case we'll start with conjunctival peritomy i'm doing some blunt dissection and we'll raise a flap just like that i sped up this video to 1.5x of the normal speed it took around 30 minutes for me to complete this case i cancelled all the trailing cases that i had on that day but yes i'll show you the post op pictures as well of this lady when she came um on 7th post op day the vision she got will be a surprise for you because uh, moments and cases like these you don't expect the vision to be a 20 by 20 or a 6 by 6 um but to my surprise yes let's break the ice the patient got 6 by 6 on post operative day 7 a special incision an inverted frown incision is really famous for giving these astigmatically neutral results to these patients who get sics i won't say i am a very proficient surgeon at sics but yes i have a decent hand which as i said earlier is my safety net especially in these cases where god tests me left and right yes i have made a good tunnel a 3 to 4 mm of tunnel length will be really nice i'll enter the main tunnel i'll enter the ac through the main tunnel and i'll extend the tunnel for the pieces to for easy evacuation of the pieces good thing is looking on the brighter side the the pieces have already been chopped so i don't need a lot of width of the still i am going to extend the main tunnel for easy evacuation of the pieces i am going not to use any of the vectus i'll use just visco expression for taking these pieces out as soon as i put some visco boom one piece is out another piece the endonucleus the hardest part is out and it's really gratifying it's really really gratifying using this brute manual uh technique to take the pieces out and complete the case and yes i am delighted i am really delighted seeing this brisk this happy fundal glow in this patient and the main incision looks fine the anterior chamber is really stable i see those lingering cortical fibers and when you have these nervous nervous things going on inside your head you even forget that the pump failure will make cortical aspiration impossible i just smiled at myself at this point in time because the irrigation is working but the aspiration is not simply because the but you have this cognitive clouding in moments like this when i realize that i i just made a silly mistake of introducing those i and a because the phaco pump is simply not working nevertheless i am going to implant a premium hoya monofocal iul in this patient i decided to put the iul first and then go ahead with the cortical clean up using a simcoe's cannula a simcoe's manual cannula i used this simcoe's manual can manual cannula after 2 years just imagine the kind of time that that passes by 
after you and these fake machines don't produce any noise they work seamlessly but in cases like these on an unfortunate day like this yes these machines break down and this gives us a chance to test our limits and yes the iol has been implanted in the bag the interior chamber looks stable it's beautiful no peaking of the iris the bag is intact there's no vitreous prolapse the lady is calm the procedure is painless i have not used any cautery i have not used any bridle and um i'll introduce this simco canela mainly in 3 clock hours as i can see in the superior area and in the 7 o'clock and the 4 o'clock position i'm going to aspirate those cortical fibers the cortical cells and we'll call it a day this case teaches you a lot of things to never let go to never ever surrender and put down your weapons is the soul learning that residents and surgeons like you all should take away from this video especially for my american colleagues i would love to see you all post some comments on, on this video about what would you have done in a case like this where a fake pump simply fails using that simco yes i had a simco in the standby uh, in my sterilized ot tray and yes that's all i gave this patient a moxifloxacin with dexamethasone in the post operative period i gave this patient some oral prednisolone as well according to her body weight luckily the patient was non diabetic so the inflammation was taken care of really beautifully i'll seal off the side ports i'll seal off the main port just like a normal fako and i'll close this case i don't do any suturing the the main the main tunnel was inverted frown it was astigmatically neutral the interior chamber was stable i did not feel the need of putting a suture and yes i was amazed at the post operative day 7 vision as i'll show you in the photos in these trailing photos i am just depositing the conjunctiva with a soft swab stick as soon as we'll patch the eye it is going to stick on its own taking the debris out no cautery no suture the conjunctiva reposited beautifully and the case is over i hope you like my videos 40% of the viewers of my channel have not subscribed it would be a very humble request for you all to subscribe my channel i would love to see some new subscribers and see my channel grow that's all from my side i leave you with some pictures with some post operative day 7 pictures as you can see the pupil is central the il is well placed the vision is 6 by 6 and i can see a teeny tiny fiber of cortex in the pupillary area which eventually dissolved by day 30 you can see the main tunnel on the left side the conjunctiva is slightly congested but you can see my incision it is sealed and healed beautifully the conjunctiva has deposited and that's all from my side this is dr simanchal goel signing off thank you and have a great day ahead